was breaking news now. This is a live picture of the Rafa crossing where the first aid trucks are finally making their way uh, from the Egyptian side of the crossing into Gaza where they will be uh, inspected. So we're going to bring in uh, James Bays, our diplomatic editor, once again. James, can you just talk us through what it has taken to get to this point for aid, what it looks like now to finally get into Gaza? Well, a great deal of diplomatic negotiations to see these pictures. Uh, this is where the UN Secretary General made his appeal uh, 24 hours ago at that crossing, to see these pictures of the trucks heading uh, from the Egyptian side of Rafa and into Gaza. You see on the side of those trucks, it says Egyptian Red Crescent. Mm. Um, this is an, as it is that uh, body that is, is carrying out this first convoy. There are UN convoys waiting to go. I'm hearing from UN sources. They are more likely, though, to have to wait until probably Monday. Also hearing from sources within Gaza, from the health ministry, what might be on this first, um, uh, this first tranche of 20 trucks. Well, the UN and the, the, and the Red Crescent and International Committee of the Red Cross are hoping it's a first tranche. Mm. Um, we believe it's 20 trucks, which is what was agreed with President Biden in, in the deal that President Biden did. And we're told that it's mainly medical supplies and some limited food supplies. Now, given what, what's needed in Gaza, the two things that aren't on that list are water and fuel, fuel. from what we, 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 we can tell. Um, and clearly those are areas that are very critical to, to people in Gaza. We're hearing that people are, in some places are having to drink from agricultural wells, they're having to drink seawater, which is obviously very, very unsafe. And mm. with regard to fuel, the hospitals rely on fuel for their generators, and we've already heard reports in recent days of some ventilators having to be switched off because there isn't enough fuel to keep people on them.